and welcome to our channel. I am Dale and Jenna's not going to be on this adventure with me this week because this week, as you can tell, I'm at a golf course and I'm going to be volunteering for Live Golf. So cool. It's Sunday, the week before the tournament starts and uh, I had to come up, pick my credentials and got all the goods. Got the credentials picked up. Got some other goods picked up. I'll show you some of those later. I am going to be one of the chair, one of the leaders of the Standard Bear Committee. And uh, for those of you that don't know, the Standard Bear, they carry the stanchions around with the scores of the players. So uh, we have, I believe, around 25 Standard Bears that uh, we get everybody set up and get out on the course. But I want to show you around a little bit today of uh, what it looks like before everything has started. So enjoy the video. So as I showed you, here is the big sign. How cool. And they got the music going already. The thing that Live Golf does different than the PGA is they have music playing throughout. Well, they do, do a lot of things different. If you're not familiar with uh, Live Golf, they do shotgun starts, so everybody starts at the same time. But this tournament this week is being played at Orange County National uh, southwest of Orlando. They got all the songs and everything. I mean, the signs and everything up. It's going to be a fun week. It's going to be interesting to see the difference of this week compared to when I volunteer at the Arnold Palmer as well. Over here are all the flags. And the thing that Live Golf does is they have teams as well. So here are all the flags of the different teams. I believe there's 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Getting quite a bit set up, but this looks like it's going to be awesome for the kids. It's going to be a bunch of kids games. See what it looks like middle of next week when I'm back or end of next week. As I mentioned, uh, they are playing at Orange County National and actually Orange County National out here has two 18 holes and a nine hole course. And they will be playing on the Crooked Cat 18 hole course. So this is what the nation's largest driving range looks like. It's absolutely massive. There's a bunch of these driving range boxes all around the course. Some over there, some over there. I know there's some all the way over on the other side, and I believe there's some up there. I believe it's 360 degrees. It's massive. And what they're doing here, looks like they're getting ready to paint for each team. And this is, this is being one of the uh, most popular teams of lately, is uh, the Range Goats. They do have the best logo. I have to agree on that. But my favorite team, Cam Smith's team, and it's this one here, the Rippers. I love that name as well, the Rippers. So not exactly sure what these are for. Looks like it's gonna be a pretty cool hangout spot, maybe to watch them on the driving range. Looks like it's gonna, it would be an ideal place to take a nap. Well, I'm really looking forward to next week and volunteering here. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait. So when I'm back, I should be at the course. Oh, I want to show all the cool merch that I got from Liv as well. Okay, so let's see what, uh, what goodies I got. Uh, the volunteers, the standard volunteers, because again, I'm one of the chairs for the standard bearer. The standard volunteers get this gray cap and they wear a bib. Uh, I got a gray cap as well. Everybody gets one of these bags because you have to have a clear bag in any PGA event uh, or professional golf event because at uh, Bay Hill you also get these clear bags. Actually I got mine mine from Bay Hill so because they need to be able to see what's inside what's inside the bag. We got this little uh, pin Live Golf that's their logo their pin. So I got the gray hat the chairs get a white hat so they can see the, the difference. Uh, and the chairs get polos where the uh, standard volunteers they don't. So I got this blue polo. Pretty cool. Let's see this one. Oh, I like this one. Oh, this one's really cool. Got this other polo. Super cool. Oh, and we get uh, a water bottle as well with the logo on it awesome 
You'll take that with us. And my good old parking ticket. A parking pass. So, that's what they gave me. Cool. It's actually a little bit more than uh, Arnold Palmer. And uh, to volunteer here, it doesn't cost anything. But if you're just a standard volunteer, uh, you only get a hat. Then if you volunteer for, I think, two days, you get this. No, the second day you get a uh, t-shirt. Well, it is now Thursday, the Pro-Am day. And these weren't here the other day. So it's a little bit different set up. And maybe we can go see some of the players. The Pro-Am started earlier this morning, so I'm not too sure how late they're gonna play. But we'll go find out and see what else has been completed. Everything should be done. Just walked in and uh, my favorite player on the live with my favorite team just happened to be right here chipping away. Cam Smith. That's awesome. Love it. Well, this is definitely much cooler. All the teams have their logos painted. That's what they were painting the other day. The signs are up. There's the aces, cliques, fireballs, crushers, everybody down there. And some players out here driving away, trying to figure out who's, who's who. This may be uh, Graham McDonald right there in the yellow. Let's see who's down. There's a few down here on this end as well. Also, with all the players, or quite a few of the players and chipping and stuff already, I am guessing the Pro-Am is uh, over. The majority of the players are probably done. These things are completed, and it says all fan access. You can get through the rooftop. All fan access, rooftop max capacity. Watch your head. Don't want to bump your head. Well, the pro is still going. And over here, we got uh, Dustin Johnson. I actually got Johnny Damon playing with him today in the Pro-Am. It's awesome. Check out the size of their drones they use. They use a lot of the camera footage from the drones. Things are huge. They're filming the group that's going down there. You have these concession stands throughout the event, the tournament. And again, this is Thursday, Pro-Am Day. There is uh, nobody out here. It's pretty empty. Let's go check out to see what kind of food they've got up here. They got the basics. Love it. Good deal. Dustin Johnson's out there hitting it in. See where it lands. Ooh! Right next to me. <laughs> wow, he almost hit me. This is on the complete opposite side of where we parked. This is another gate. Sea gate, I believe is what it's called. Another main entrance for the parking. Well, that's pretty cool. And they got this uh, bridge set up purposely over this little valley here to go across and they'll be right at hole number eight we are inside the media tent i've got some credentials this week that get us inside a few different areas and here's what it looks like i found out they don't do too much of the media stuff here on the weekend it's usually earlier in the week because they do other media uh or the players get interviewed and stuff outside in different places during the weekend and during play. So they don't come out here or in here as much during the weekend. But how cool. Now we know what they look like behind the scenes. Saturday night after the event, they're gonna have a DJ. And I believe this is probably where that's gonna happen. They got the bar and stuff set up. Looks like there's a place you can get, get inked. Golf simulator getting set up. That'll be cool to see. Another little fun zone over here, looks like. Along with another face painting. 
cool little place for the kids to play around in. A little cornhole area action. And then this over here. Can't wait to see what this is all about. It's got a high score leaderboard. It's a beautiful hole out here. This is a hole 13. And they have to enter over the swamp area. So they're going to be a par 3. A little bit of construction on the back side here. But man, what a tough hole. I, I think I'd lose several balls right in that swamp water. So we have our little room here that we get the standards set up. And it's my co-chair Britt right there helping out as well. Uh, so what we have to do, we have the pairing guides. And we have to put the live golf at the top. And then each of the pairings on the standards as well and then getting set up. So we'll have to do that for, for every day. And we're getting ready for Friday. Uh, well, we finished putting all the names on the standards and uh, this is what they look like. So tomorrow morning, we'll be all ready to go and then they'll get their uh, pouches with their numbers and everything uh, to keep track of the score and uh, be a good round of golf tomorrow. This is one of the players that uh, got a helicopter ride out of here and I believe in here this morning as well it's Friday the first day of play I'm standing here in front of the driving range I got my breakfast sandwich and a water so uh, go fill my belly and go to a room and uh, see where the day takes us all right let's check out this breakfast sandwich they got Ooh. Sausage and egg. Now that's a sandwich. It said bacon, but I'm actually happier. It's sausage. Right now it's the calm before the storm. Over here we have Club 54, which is uh, extra tickets you can purchase for view of uh, the 18th hole. And then there's some concessions around here, and it smells good. We got a couple food trucks over there. They're ready for us, everybody and some tables gonna be a beautiful day but we have someone flying in here not too sure maybe greg norman I heard yesterday he's gonna be flying in around this time so this may be him Gets, uh, get us a free meal here and they gave us a we got a wagyu hot dog caramelized onions some chips chocolate chip cookie and a coke and yeah it seems like it just had breakfast but this looks amazing we got our stander bears out here getting all their signs and getting their uh, numbers and everything on and taking pictures uh, we actually get here's our where our room is at they're actually rooms you can rent when you stay here at Orange County National. Well now they got me, uh, we're transporting people out to the holes because there's some holes quite a distance away. So we need to get all the marshals and the stander bearers and everybody out to their hole. So I got me a big old uh, golf cart here and we'll get everybody out there to their positions so everybody's ready for when the players come. A little bouncy bounce. Well it's definitely getting much busier out here. And here at uh, Live Golf, they even have drink carts driving around. That's super cool. Here's Phil Mickelson getting dropped off, headed over to the putting area. An oval tree behind him. Since a shotgun start, all the carts out there are for the players. They just called all the players to go to uh, their carts. So they're gonna go out of their carts and go to all their holes. It's gonna be cool. Here they come. Graham McDowell just grabbing a ride here. How cool is this? That's awesome. They're coming in. Love that.
So this group right here, if I could have had my choice of which group to walk with, it would have been this one. Bryson DeChambeau, Joaquin Neiman, and my boy Cam Smith. But for those of you who are familiar with the Orlando area, over there's 429. And this is at Orlando Health Hospital. And uh, hole four is right back here. It's like in the backyard of the Orlando Health Hospital. They got a little putting green out here. You need a place to hang out with some friends, take a load off. You don't feel like going walking around? Find yourself a beanbag up here and watch it from here. Another putting green here, and this is one of those adjustable ones. Super cool. If Jenna gets a giraffe, I get one of these. If you feel like charging your phone, you can charge your phone. That's awesome. Love that. Over here, they got the, the golf simulator. Here's that little chipping area. Showed the other day. Now it's all done. People are having fun. They got uh, putting cornhole as well. Sweet. Yep, it's busy around here now for sure. Everything. People are here, this is where it's happening. The food, the trucks, all the fun. They also have the merchandise shop. And here is the trophy the winner gets. Yeah, kid stuff, sweaters, sweatshirts from all the teams. Hats, towels, balls, these cool looking jackets, and merch from each team. Here's my favorite team, Ripper. Love that. And that's one of the most popular ones currently, the Range Goats. A few of the other teams as well. This one's actually pretty cool too, the Fireballs, I like the logo. And the Crushers. And the uh... And Honchos just showed up. The leaders of, uh, not Greg Norman, but some of the guys from uh, Saudi Arabia. They got the booth and everything set up. Here's Club 54. Very cool. This is our volunteer headquarters. Every day morning we come in and we check in here. And uh, they have some food and snacks for the volunteers, some drinks. We're well taken care of. So, uh, you want to be a volunteer. So much fun. So they have the speakers out here, but it's not quite as loud throughout the whole course as uh, I might have expected or anybody else had expected. So the only time it really gets super loud is right next to a speaker, because they're not all over the place. Oh, found another drone sta station. I'm just in a cul-de-sac in a neighborhood over here uh, off of uh, 11. Cool. Well, that's cool. You can see how big those things are. The live staff, their golf carts are much cooler than ours. Look at those things. Now Greg Norman is also up in his booth, just relaxing back there. That's the seat to have. The players come off of 18. They come over here, get on their carts because they have to go all the way around over to to one. Currently, uh, Carlos Ortiz, the first cart. I think uh, yeah, Horsefield's on the second, and Mickelson is on the last one. I'm going exactly where they're going, so I'm just going to follow them around. It's behind the scenes. Here's all their vehicles they have set up and everything for after the fact. So everybody can leave the scoring tent, some media stuff. Gotta go catch up. Well, Saturday morning, yes, I got a little bit of sunshine yesterday. My legs are a little burnt. I'm back in our room with the standard bear signs and everything. And now we have to take all the names off and uh, replace them. Since here, we gotta take this one off. And they're sort of a, they're, they didn't come out like we could just try to pull them out. 
they weren't working. We were trying last night a few different things. They weren't working well. When I was at home last night, with my ingenuity, I came up with a trick, or I wondered if it's gonna work, and it works like a charm. So what I did, got this stick, pop this right behind the name, make sure I don't knock the sign down. I, got, I don't have enough hands. But then you just go, boop, pop it right through there, pops right off. Man, this is gonna be a lifesaver. Lifesaver with this little stick. Final day, came down and picked up my cart. It's one of the first here this morning. A little bit of a haze, but it's burning off quick. It's gonna be a beautiful final round. Out on the last day, we got Charles Howell III over here. We got Phil Mickelson over here, putting. So I think that's Danny Lee over there. Over here is Henrik Stenson. Great day. Final day, here they come. shot of the day that I will see, Phil Mickelson. And that's a wrap. So now I have my cart again. I have my cart and here to pick up all the volunteers that I can to take them back up front because it is a long ways up there. And those carts are all here to pick up the players and the caddies and everybody else to take them way to the front. Well, the sun is setting behind me on uh, day three on Sunday. It's coming to an end. That means the vlog's coming to an end. It was a fantastic three days. Lots of fun. Live golf as a volunteer was amazing because it's not near as long as what the PGA Tour is. So if you've never volunteered, live golf would, have, would be a, first, a great first step to be able to volunteer and enjoy some golf. Enjoyed seeing all the players, enjoyed working with everybody, and overall, just a great experience. So please like, subscribe, and uh, wait for another video. Thank you for watching.